look what came in the mail today actually it came in like a week ago but we got a new trailmaster mb200 you guys know if you've been watching the channel this is my all-time favorite mini bike we started off with the coleman's and then as soon as go power sports got their hands on these uh it was game over for the coleman's this is a full suspension 196 cc mini bike so it does have front and rear suspension uh, has a cvt stock on it uh, we always say this is the best out of the box mini bike you can possibly get so let's get this thing unboxed and go take her for a rip snort. Now it's been a while since we've unboxed one of these, but they do now come with a title. So if you wanted to street leave one of these, it would be a lot easier. I know in Tennessee, you need to have a bill of sale or a title. And then of course signals, and all the things they require but before when we built our street legal one uh, we had to have a title and we did not have one all right so now we're just going to cut all these zip ties off when you're putting something together like this if it's already put together tighten it again just to be safe because you never know if this puppy is built on a friday so we're going to slap that looks like the rear wheels is on we just got to bolt the shocks up throw the front wheel on and put the handlebars on put oil in it and we should be good to go. So the last time we messed with one of these, Go Power Sports didn't have a ton of aftermarket parts for the chassis of this bike. So now they've came out with a, a modified triple clamp. The top part, you can see the bottom part's really beefy with this tube style, but the top part is like a stamp steel and it's still pretty dang strong. We've never had a problem with them, but they do have uh, like a quarter inch or something thick piece of steel that you can replace this whole triple clamp with. And we will be doing that. Also, they just released a front brake kit. Comes with a wheel tire, brake disc, and master cylinder, so it'll allow you to have front brakes on it. They came out with the super pipe. We have all these parts to do this back up. We'll do them in each individual videos. But for now, we're just gonna ride this thing. And the first thing that I would upgrade on one of these uh, is the foot pegs. If you're jumping these things, these foot pegs will break on you. So we have linked some really beefy CR80 foot pegs that we like to use. They're like a cast steel and we've never broken a pair. And I always get rid of the rear foot pegs because I mean, you're not crotch rocking this puppy. So let's put some oil in this, some gas and fire up for the first time. And I'm also gonna go ahead and check the CVT. I'm gonna pull the side cover real quick, make sure everything's good because we've had one where the CVT pulley wouldn't tighten on it and it came loose inside the side cover. So that's why I always say check every bolt on this thing before riding it. All right, there's our pulley. So just making sure everything's tight. And the biggest performance upgrade, of course, is to use a, a juggernaut pulley on this. I'm just gonna pull this apart real quick. So one cool thing that's different than most 30 series that has a ball bearing right here, this is gonna help you from creeping at idle. So if you have a mini bike that's creeping, you can see the crankshaft can turn, no problem, and it doesn't try to move the belt. So I just wanna pull that off, to show you guys that. Uh, so we're gonna do a full series on doing all the upgrades that they have for this mini bike, including our favorite, the Juggernaut, because the Juggernaut is literally the best $100 you can spend on one of these bikes. It brings me back. Me and Lonnie got the first uh, Coleman mini box. 
we had a freaking blast. We rode those things everywhere. Back when you said you wouldn't do mini bikes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get those times back either. And then when Braxton, we got our first Trailmaster, which was our second Trailmaster. The first Trailmaster I think we got was blue and was Lonnie's bike, I believe. Or we might have got mine first. But anyways, Braxton just is out riding around, no cameras rolling, comes from the backyard, full bore, and hits our old driveway jump. And it was the funniest thing. I think the hardest we've ever laughed, ever, because we thought he was dead. Mm -hmm. And that's what was funny. <laughs> and then we asked him if he wanted to do it again. Didn't peer pressure him. We said, would you want to do it again on camera? And he was like, yeah. And we have that. We'll put that in right here. Flashback. I think so. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. You, go. <laughs> you know, I think I could have ridden out of that if I would have given it gas. Like my hand slipped off the handlebars. Oh yeah. Could do it again. <laughs> Of flashback the first attempt I wish we'd had it on camera because it was so clean well executed so this bike actually even comes with oil in it it's like plumb to the top but I don't trust Chinese oil so we're gonna drain it and put some Napa 1030 in it and we're off it actually looks it's thicker than what I thought it would look like all right now we got that Rona oil out of there. Putting some good 10W30 from Napa though. Some dinosaur juice. I like these big chainsaw handles. Moments later. No, oh, I'll tell you something we're gonna do real quick. There is a screw. Hope you guys can see this. There is a screw. So let's pull this air box off. First thing you should do to any of these mini bikes, we'll pull this air filter. Top of the air box. This Phillip head screw is gonna stop this from going so far so uh, I'm gonna remove that puppy hope you guys can see what I'm doing get that removed and we can get a higher governor setting basically there right there we're getting rid of it so now put our bottom of our air filter our air filter back down and we have per se uh, modified our governor Only. Okay, so John from Cars and Cameras wanted me to do an outline 
of our October race. So she died. Uh, I think the idle needs adjusted up. There's a screw where you can adjust the idles on these things. Uh, I'm not worried about that right now. So basically John from Cars and Cameras. Don't know a little YouTube channel. Don't know if you heard of them. Uh, so this is where our race is gonna kind of start. Somewhere's in this area for October. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity on this Trailmaster um, to show the layout of our track. It's supposed to be around a mile long. It might be actually a little over, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna run uh, the route of our track to show you guys um, how it's gonna be. So let's do that. Come on, baby. make it up that hill unfortunately uh, so we would normally go up this hill come out behind the garage so I'm not gonna do that I'll just come out at the top of it and show you the rest of the track oh look at there all right so we come out right there come on baby So the race will start right here and do that same track that I just uh, kind of ran out. Uh, these bikes, I'm a huge dude. I'm a big old boy. 
so that's the best this little boy will do with me with the power but we are putting a tilson 225 on this which is going to change the game please that's going to be our october race and this mini bike handled it pretty decent if i was skinnier it'd be way more fun but with my good jumbo size uh this bike don't want to pull me up hills and stuff but we're going to fix that gearing change and a lot more horsepower faux show sure. All right, guys, so that was an unboxing of the MB200, and I know we've done the MB200 a bunch of times on the channel, uh, but this is a new build, so we thought we'd start fresh with a whole new series on this MB200. Uh, Go Power Sports has a ton of upgrade parts, like we said at the first of the video. They have the front disc brake kit. They have the stronger upper triple tree clamp, and uh, it's at like a quarter inch thick of steel, and they have the bigger shocks, the super pipe, and they also have a motorcycle gas tank with a very slight amount of modifications to this chassis. You can slap it right on there. So all these parts, what we're gonna do to this bike in the future will be linked down below. The fenders that we're gonna go with, I like using some dirt bike fenders on it. I think it looks a lot better. And uh, let me know down below what your favorite mini bike is. People ask us all the time, do we still recommend the Coleman bikes? And I unfortunately don't. Uh, I don't like them whatsoever. Um, once you ride something like this MB200, it changes your mindset on all these mini bikes. It's so great right out of the box. Because this bike's like $1,100, $1,200, where a Coleman's going to be seven, dollars $800. And you're not going to get half the, you know, you're not going to have the rear swing arm. You're not going to have the better front forks that are pretty stiff out of the box. Where the Coleman's, you have to upgrade them. So that's just our opinion here. Uh, we've had a lot of time on these bikes and like them a lot. Uh, let us know what you also think about our track layout. I know it's kind of hard to really tell. I'm gonna walk it very soon uh, with my Map My Run app on to make sure that it's a mile at least because uh, it's gonna be 10 laps. We'll take a mid-race break halfway through, check gas, check bolts and stuff. Uh, I think we'll do a, a 20 minute pit at the five lap mark everybody will start back where they they ended and um you know it's going to be a great time hope you guys enjoyed the videos that will come from that so uh, a lot of people's going to be here a lot of good racing happening so i uh, hope you guys are excited for that and uh